Sherry Hara here from Plants for All Seasons on Highway 249. And I'm gonna do a quick uh, potting demo on planting flowers using the Landscaper's Pride potting soil. Um, so the first thing you wanna do when you're doing a flower pot uh, is pick the right pot. So you have a lot of different options when you come to our nursery. There's terracotta, there's plastic pots, there's ceramic pots. The biggest thing that you wanna look for is good drainage. So if it's a plastic pot, make sure it has good drainage. Our terracotta pots usually have just one hole in the bottom. Um, that being said, you also wanna make sure that all your soil's not gonna come out of the bottom. So I like to use something like this cocoa fiber. Just tear it up. You can also use uh, larger pea gravel or terracotta pots broken in the bottom and that will just keep your soil from coming out so just like then that. Then we want to fill the pot up and you don't want to put a layer of rocks in the bottom you want soil to go all the way down to the bottom because roots will develop all the way down to the bottom and that's easier on you to keep it watered in the long term. So we're gonna fill it up this is the landscapers pride potting soil it's a nice lightweight blend to get your plants off to a good start. Okay, so we want our soil to be almost to the top, but leave a little bit of a lip so that you have room to put your plants in. This is a very important step. So we have a real high quality soil here that will drain well, but we need to add food to it. So the difference between a flower pot that's been fed and one that hasn't is huge. And we want everything to bloom and be beautiful, right? So um, I always add food before I start planting. I just sprinkle it in the top. There's many different plant foods you can use. Uh, we like to use the Nelson's Color Star for our um, flowers. And then just spread it around. You don't have to mix it in. Spread it around because that's where the roots are going to be. Then I'm going to plant this pot um, with some beautiful flowers. Um, and I like to put as much in at the time of planting as I can. I want it to look like a floral arrangement. I want it to be done. I don't leave a lot of room um, this way for plants to grow. Their roots will start going down uh, if you cram them in there. So, and I say cram, that doesn't sound very nice, but put them in there nicely. So get, tuck their roots in and pull the soil up without covering the base of the plant. We wanna do a spiller, a filler, a thriller. That's kind of rule of, of uh, doing your pots. So we want different colors, different textures to be in our pot. Um, I'm kind of going with a pink theme here. I just thought this would be a good uh, filler, something to add interest to your pot. And another thing to think of when you're picking your plants, not only do they match, but will they take the same sun exposure and are they the right time of year? And now I'm putting in my spilling element. I'm gonna actually do two spillers in here. This one will fill in and cascade. This one will give some contrast in the, the leaf color. And I like my pots to be beautiful all the way around. Um, really you need to decide where you're gonna place your pot to know where you need to put your focus. This is gonna be beautiful all the way around. As you can see, this filler right here is going to cascade somewhat too. Your Gerber Daisy will get bigger, but that really, that's all there is So as far as watering goes uh, for this pot, I always tell people we wanna do the Goldilocks method. We don't want too little and we don't want too much. We just want the right amount. So what you do is stick your fingers down in this pot about two inches. If it's moist, we don't water. If it's dry, then we go ahead and water. And your plants will tell you. If something on this side is wilty, then we need to focus our water over here. So that's really all there is to it.